my channel so today I'm gonna to be doing a few gifts and treats you can give your friends or just you know like gift ideas so yeah I'm super excited for this video and I hope you will learn some new recipes or parties and like little gifts and some new gift ideas for everyone in your family because Christmas is like eight oh my gosh guys Christmas is eight days away today because I'm filming this intro on Sunday the day that you're watching this because I'm late always and yeah so I'm super excited for this video and let's just go ahead and get started you guys so to learn how to make this adorable slime basket you guys should keep watching so the first thing you need to do in order to make this adorable gift for your friends is just get a basket and I got mine from Michaels and I'll just put some tissue paper in the bottom of it and I just kind of scrunched mine in like so. And then obviously you need to get your supplies. So I got things like these little foam beads from Michaels, Model Magic Clay, and things like little travel size lotions. And then I just take some borax and a little plastic baggie and I just filled the little plastic baggie with a little bit of borax in it to activate the slime because obviously you need that to activate it. So I just poured some of that in and then I just have this full bag of borax and I know it's a lot but it's okay. Better than having not enough so I just have this little baggie. And now we are ready to kind of put it together. So I just kind of spread this up for you guys. And I just kind of put them all in. And again, I just purchased all these things from Michaels or Target. So I got those two from Michaels. And then I obviously I got the glue. I got the lotion to go with um, the Model Magic. And then I just got a little slime container. Some mini foaming... Um, shaving cream to make fluffy slime and just all the ingredients only to make any type of slime they would like so they can customize it to their liking i just think this is a good gift for anyone who likes crafting or making slime or anything like that and then i just turned it around all right so to make the little bow i just got this ribbon from target for around i want to say a dollar or two and then I just uncoiled it a little bit in this really cool holographic ribbon. And then obviously I had to cut it with some scissors. So just cut that right there. And then I went ahead and tied it around the um, the basket. I couldn't think of the word. And I think the um, this basket works out pretty well because all the slime supplies fill the entire container. And I just think it's a perfect gift again. And there's little, like, carriers on the sides so you can carry it. And I was thinking of just putting this in, like, a big gift bag. And then, yeah, I think it'll be super cute. Okay, so then I just added a few little extras. Like, I wrote slime on the container. And then I just added a little stir stick and a little cup to mix it all in. The first thing is these little cookies. And they are so delicious. So keep watching if you want to learn how to so make the next one, I have awesome. to make the dough. And then we'll just take these little Andes mints for the first step and then just melt them in the microwave. And we got these ones from Target. What do you think of the bowl and then we will just put them in a microwave safe bowl to melt. And yeah, we'll just do that. And then just, you know, put them in the microwave until they melt. Um, and then we cover some butter cookies in the melted get, chocolate with a spatula like so. To make sure the and then we will just take is, some uh, wax paper and lay them all down there when they are done. And then we will go ahead and pop them in the fridge to cool. And then just pour some white chocolate chips in a bowl. We are waiting and melt those as well. And then just take some candy canes and crush those up. And then pour them into a bowl, like so. And then we will just drizzle the white chocolate all over the cooled cookies. And yeah, they look really good. And then after this, we will just go ahead and get some little pieces of peppermint and put them on. 
and then keep drizzling until you're all done and then put them in the freezer. And then when they are done, they will look like this. Also, earlier when I said freezer, I meant fridge just to cool. The and these look the so dough. good the and delicious. To make this next gift a movie basket gift, it is perfect for anyone in your life that loves movies. You should definitely keep watching. Okay, so the next gift is another little basket gift. And I just first started by actually cutting off the tag. And I just got two of the same baskets from Michael's. And then obviously you will need some candy for your movie basket gift. So I got like some good ones and, like, <clears throat> and some gift cards and like, you know, stuff like that. And then I just decided to arrange all the tissue inside. And I just took this little silver tissue to just kind of like put it inside of it. I don't know. And then. Uh, and I just kind of smushed that down in there. You know. <laughs> and then I went ahead and I filled the basket with candy. And I wasn't really happy about how it looked. So I just kind of redid it multiple times. Because then you get the big red lines like in the back. Yeah, and it, just, it, it was kind of good. So I just kind of have to like reorganize it a few different times just kind of get the look i was going for so that's why i speeded it up a lot like this clip i sped up so much and fixing it <laughs> and yeah i think i like that it turned out my i don't know honestly after this video i might like fix it again but yeah you know, we'll see yeah i just arranged it like so you can also add like I don't know, but also be like a movie theater. You could add like movie tickets, I guess, instead. And then I just added a little like bow around it. And yeah, so this would be a good gift for anyone in your life who likes movies. Um, probably someone like older, maybe not like a little cousin or something. I don't really know. But anyways, so it took me forever to have this little bow around. So yeah, you, you can watch that now. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you all next time. And next time I see you, it will be... Oh my gosh, guys. Next time I see you, it will be Christmas Eve. So get excited for that. I might post on Saturday, actually, because I know Christmas Eve is kind of like a hard time. And I will be doing a Christmas Eve vlog. And I'm still kind of working out the schedule for that. I'm thinking... Definitely the Christmas video is going up on Tuesday. Maybe the vlog will go up on Wednesday but Or maybe Thursday, but I still haven't looked at the details and hopefully with winter break I'll have more time to plan videos for you guys. But yeah, I'm super excited. So yeah, see you all next time. Bye